Welcome to the channel ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you how to use your voting buttons in Outlook. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is jump into Outlook. We are going to open a new message and here we can add a subject and then we can also add recipients to um, the top section over here. And then we are going to type out our actual email message. Next, we're going to go and look for options in the ribbon. We are then going to look for use voting buttons. And once you open this, they will have a, a few options. So this will be approve, reject, yes, no, yes, no, maybe. You can then go and click on custom if you'd like to customize this experience. Over here, you can set the importance, sensitivity, and also change some security settings on the actual message. And then the next section you get is the voting and tracking options. So here you must make sure that the use voting buttons is checked off in that box. And here you can go ahead and change what has actually been put in to the voting options. So you can change this to, um, in this case, we will change them to different names. You can also change them to whatever options you would like to have available to vote for. You can now go ahead and click on close and then you can send your email and the recipients will receive an email with the voting buttons available to vote. You will then be able to view this when it is um, being voted on and then you can see all of your votes and tally them up. 